my favorite time of the evening is right before things get really dark and it's just nice and gray out almost nighttime and kind of daytime what a wonderful time of day did I mention that uh, my neighbors have a lion it's true but we're not here to talk about this lion or that rhino we're here to talk about the vinegar syndrome february 2021 title announcement feast your eyes not there 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 you see those those are the new ones i'm sure you know about it by now but if you don't let's dive in and see what's doing First up is Umberto Lenzi's Hitcher in the Dark. Now, I'm going to be honest, I've never seen this movie, um, but uh, it's not a movie that uh, I would want to search out. It's one of those rape, murder, kidnapping type of movies. Eh, it doesn't appeal to me. If it appeals to you, fantastic. I hope you enjoy it. Um, but uh, I'm getting it anyway because of my subscription. I already have a buyer lined up, so I'm, I'm good to go. But uh, Hitcher in the Dark is our first title, and uh, let's find out a little bit more about it. This special edition slipcover is limited to 4,000 units. By the way, everything here ships February 23rd, so keep that in mind. Let's read a little bit about the, the, the plot to this um, rather grotesque sounding film. Young and handsome Mark Glazer roams around the southeastern United States in his decked out camper, picking up single female hitchhikers. Once he has the unsuspecting travelers trapped inside his RV, Mark savagely assaults and then murders them by slashing their throats, taking photos of the grisly aftermath to add into his macabre collection. Oh, there's an and missing there. But everything changes when he uh, happens to meet Daniela, a spinning, I imagine she's Italian, I don't know, a spinning image uh, for his deceased mother, who soon becomes the victim of his most savage torments. See what I mean? It's not necessarily a Christmas story. Not that I was expecting that. Directed by one of the true godfathers of Italian horror and exploitation cinema, Umberto Lenzi, Hitcher in the Dark is an ultra-violent mix of suspense, thriller, and action, which stars Josie Bissett from uh, Melrose Place, I remember her, Jason Saucier from that classic series, uh, Sister Sister, and, and Joe Below, Baloch, Baloch, uh, Moonstalker, I don't know Moonstalker, but it sounds amazing, as Mark, uh, one of several films produced in the United States by Joe D'Amato, interesting, uh, that attempted to tie itself in with a popular American film. This was marketed in Italy as Hitcher 2. Oh, interesting. And makes its worldwide Blu-ray debut from Vinegar Syndrome in a brand new 4K restoration. It's region free. Commentary track with Sam and Cat. Archival video interview with Umberto Lenzi. And a trailer and then reversible artwork. Okay, so I mean, light on specials, but at least it's got something. That's interesting. If you're a fan of this movie, let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. You know, I'll get it with my subscription. I'm gonna watch it, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm selling it to a pal who's who's already, uh, who's already requested it because he, he he knows I'm not into these types of films. Hit you in the dark. That's our first release for February. Now I don't know about you, pal, but I remember the fear from the VHS days. I remember walking through the video store aisles and seeing a pretty cheesy looking cover. Saying, ah, uh, maybe, I don't know. And then picking it up and finding out that Wes Craven is in it. That's actually the reason I rented it. Uh, not because it looked good, but here it is. On Blu-ray for $28. The Fear. The special edition embossed slipcover is limited to 4,000 units as usual. Keep that in mind. Let's read a little bit about the plot. Richard is a college student who has decided to focus his attention on the study of fear, okay, and has invited a group of friends up to his family's secluded mountain cabin for the weekend, during which they've agreed to participate in his project and share what terrifies them. While the experiment seems harmless at first, when it comes time for Richard to reveal what he's afraid of, the answer comes in the form of a strange, lifelike wooden carving of a man which has been in the cabin for generations. And is named Morty. Oh, that's right. It had a yeah. That's a, that's a, it had a name. As the friends attempt to enjoy their wilderness seclusion, Morty comes to life somehow, 
and begin stalking and killing the youngsters in ways that go far beyond their most horrific nightmares. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm in. I'm definitely. I'm. 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 I think I'm most likely gonna keep this one. This sounds like. This sounds like a blast. I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, I know I've seen it, but I don't remember it too well. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this one. One of the quintessential mid '90s indie horror films, Vincent Roberts' The Fear, features Heather Medway and Turkle Vince Edwards, plus a rare acting role from legendary horror filmmaker Wes Craven. I don't know. Maybe the special features to talk about how the hell they got him. That's very interesting. Taking full advantage of its scenic locales, the fear ramps up its body count, leading to a tense and bloody climax, and is headed to Blu-ray, fully uncut and uncensored, and a new 4K restoration from the negative. Region free, new commentary track with the director, commentary track with the producer, and face to face with fear, a 50-minute making of documentary featuring interviews with the cast and crew. Wow, that's extensive for that movie. 50 minutes. That's impressive. I don't know that I'm gonna watch it, but that's impressive. Maybe they'll mention how they got uh, Wes Craven. Maybe the commentary does too. I'm curious. I'm, they, they had to have known him. Like, yo, Wes, what's going down, bro? Uh, before you do Scream, let's uh, let's put you in this mannequin movie. Before we get to the other titles, pal, I do have to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm at 950 subscribers, and it's February, February 1st, as of, as of the recording of the video. My God. 50 subscribers away from a thousand that means i'm definitely going to have to bleach my beard and dye it hot pink crap um that's fine i'll take it i'll take it you put your faith in me and i'm a man of my word i will do it 50 subscribers away if you're new here please subscribe mastercast comes at you with a daily dose of movie love sometimes twice when i do master chaos theater I appreciate you putting your faith in me. I appreciate you giving me your eyeballs. And I'm going to treat your eyeballs right. I'm going to fondle them correctly. I promise you that. Drop me a thumbs up, by the way. That helps the video and the channel. All that good stuff. And uh, while you're at it, spread the word. Spread the word about Master Chaos. Spread the gospel. Remember, once you subscribe, you are officially a part of the Chaos Crew. Okay. Let's find out what's in the Gialli Volume 3 box set. Okay, my dude, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Forgotten Gialli, Volume 3. That's how you would say it, right? In Italian? Una, due, trece, tre, tre. That might be 13. Anyway, Volume 3. Forgotten Gialli, Volume 3 is here for pre order. I, I feel like we just got Part 2. Here's Volume 3. I'm excited. The movies on this set are, are, are fantastic. They look. I mean, I honestly, I've only seen one of them, but they all sound amazing. And I cannot wait to own them in the best possible version. The one hang-up I have is I don't love the cover design for Volume 3. I think I prefer the one for Volume 2. This is, I mean, it's nice. It looks nice. I'm not going to say it looks like shit. It looks nice. It looks nice. But I don't know. There's something about it that feels a little less than. I feel like, you know, they were teasing a lot of eyeballs when they were sort of like hinting what the titles would be. And there's no eyeballs on the cover. I don't know. They haven't opened it up. You know, they used to have pictures of the inside, you know, the uh, what, what the case looks like inside. So they haven't shown that or the bottoms or the sides. So maybe there's eyeballs there. But I don't know. I'm not 100% over the moon with this one. The limited edition box set is limited to 6,000 units. So that's nice. You have a little bit more. In this third installment in our celebration of Gialli, which we feel have been overlooked during the home video age. We're proud to offer this trio of diverse and bloody offerings, all of which are making their worldwide Blu-ray debuts. All three films are presented in brand new and exclusive restorations of their original uncensored 35mm negatives. Our video cinema is proud to present the third entry in Forgotten Gialli. Fantastic. Let's find out about the movies. Autopsy is the one that I have seen. A wave of sudden violent suicides have gripped Rome and are being blamed on sunspots. Because, sure. Uh, Simona, a young pathologist with an unhealthy obsession with death, has become increasingly interested in this strange phenomenon. But with the discovery of the body of a young woman, an apparent victim of a self-inflicted gunshot, Simona finds herself thrust into a terrifying mystery and conspiracy to cloak actual murders as suicides. And the nearer she comes to unraveling the truth, the more in danger she is to entering the sights of a deranged killer who might be a lot closer to home than she realizes 
This is a good one. I'm looking forward to, to rewatching this one. An expertly directed and at times staggeringly brutal thriller from Armando Crispino, Autopsy, which was made under the title Sunspots and released internationally as The Victim, stars Mimsy Farmer, Barry Primus, not the band Primus, uh, Ray Lovelock, and, I'm sorry, and Ray Lovelock, featuring stunning photography from veteran Italian DP Carlo Carlini and an acclaimed score from Ennio Morricone. <laughs> Vinegar Cinema is proud to bring Autopsy to Blu-ray fully uncensored. Uh, this uh, features a complete English and Italian language audio tracks fully intact. That's fantastic. So this, this is staggeringly, staggeringly, why would I repeat that? Brutal thriller. I'm excited to rewatch that very much. So what are the special features? Let's find out. Let's find out together. Because I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Region Free, got it. Uh, includes both the English and language audio. Yep. Uh, let's see. Archival theatrical introduction with the director. Oh, that's cool. Editing and Rhythm, an interview with the editor. Autopsy Papers, an interview with Francesco Crispino, film historian and son of the director. Black Hole Sun, a featurette on the career of uh, director Armando Crispino. An original theatrical trailer and, uh, you know, alternate titles and credits and reversible artwork and all that other gobbledygook. No trailer, though. That's weird. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I just saw the trailer. Okay, so that's great. That is extras packed to the brim. I'm excited to watch this, but I'm even more excited to watch the other two, which I've never seen. Murder Mansion. What a title. On a dark and foggy night in the countryside, I'm already sold. A group of apparent strangers all find themselves stranded at an old gothic mansion. Deciding to spend the night and look for help the following morning, the group pair off for bed. As the night wears, wears on? That's not how you spell that. Incre <laughs> that's a... Uh, vinegar Studio, if you're watching, that's not how you spell that. Increasingly strange events begin to occur, culminating in a murder. Tensions and suspicions rise and fear mounts that the ghosts of the mansion have risen from the grave, especially when more bodies turn up. But is the explanation behind these ghastly events truly supernatural? Boom! That sounds amazing! Yeah, I want that very much. One of the best and most effective combinations of mid-60s style gothic Euro horror and early 70s flavored ga gi sorry, giallo intrigue, uh, Francisco La Lara Polpo's Spanish-Italian co-production Murder Mansion, originally titled The Mansion in the Fog, great title, became a drive-in and late-night TV hit in the U.S. during the mid-70s. Never legally released in the United States on disc, Vinegar Syndrome proudly presents the Blu-ray premiere of Murder Mansion, Restored in 4K and includes the original Spanish soundtrack along with the English and nearly impossible to find Italian dubs. Wow. Oh, man. nearly impossible. You found it. Fantastic. I'm excited. That sounds that sounds very different from the other Gialli we've gotten. That sounds very different. That, that sounds more up my alley, honestly. I, lo I love old Dark House type stuff. Yes. This comes with Lady of the Mansion, an interview with actress Ida Galli, a.k.a. Evelyn Stewart, uh, and a reversible cover artwork as well as the you know, the, 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 the original Spanish language track and the English translation and all that good stuff that they, they mentioned before. And it's region free, so the party continues there. Crazy Desires of a Murderer. What a title. The Countess Ileana has just returned to her family's grand old castle, where her paralyzed father, an apparent clairvoyant, and strange younger brother with an unhealthy interest in taxidermy reside. Unhealthy interest? The only thing I can think of is that he... he he bangs, he bangs them. That's, that's unhealthy in my book. What, 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 what do you think that means? Anyway, almost immediately after arriving, one of Ileana's friends who's visiting the castle is shockingly murdered and has her eyes plugged out of their sockets. Whoa. While suspicion falls on Ileana's brother because he's fucking taxidermy things, a curious police inspector, Sicilian character actor, Corrado Giappa uh, of The Godfather and My Dear Killer, oh great. Uh, begins to investigate, believing there to be more to the killing than meets the eye. Oh, I see what you did there. However, this sleuthing proves, uh, his sleuthing proves no match for this maniac as the body count steadily rises. Whoa, bro. A delirious mix of gothic horror, sex drama, sex drama, uh, murder mystery, plus a whole lot of extracted eyeballs. So prepare for that. If you guys don't like eyeballs, yeah. Be warned, this is an eyeballs movie. Uh, Filippo Walter Ratti's Crazy Desires of a Murderer 
though known in Italy as the much more lurid, the morbid vices of a housekeeper. Housekeep? What the? F Spoilers! Spoilers! Now we know who did it. Why would they include that? Unless it isn't the housekeeper, but if it is, you guys are assholes. Remains one of the forgotten treats of the late 70s Giallo cinema. Never released theatrically in the English speaking world, and virtually unavailable on home video, Vinegar Cinema is allowed to bring this trashy rarity to Blu ray restored in 4K. Region free, good to know. Crazy memories of an actor, an interview with actor Giuseppe Colombo, and reversible cover artwork. So it seems like Autopsy is the is the one with the most uh, special features. Maybe it was easier to get, or maybe they thought Autopsy is the most memorable, the most most the best one. So they wanted to put as much effort into that one as possible. Who knows? But hey, we've got we've got a special feature here. We got an interview with an actor who was actually not even listed in the uh, in the in, in the plot synopsis. So I'm guessing he's not a big part. Maybe he's the housekeeper who killed everybody because they gave it out away. Who knows? Well, Home Slice, that's where we're at with that. Let me know, please, in the comments down below, which one you're going to be picking up, if any. Are you grabbing the bundle? The February bundle is only 110 bucks. You get you get five movies for that. That's actually really reasonable, you know, uh, compared to these prices. So um, maybe it's worth getting the bundle, even if you don't want all the movies. Uh, but um, I, if I, if I, if it were me, if it were me. If I didn't have the subscription, I would wait for the halfway to Black Friday sale. None of this stuff is going to sell out. I hate to say that because I, I love Vinegar Cinema. I support them. But I support you, my friend, my subscriber, my pal. I support your wallet. That's why I'm here. I would wait for the halfway to Black Friday sale. None of this is going to sell out immediately. Uh, the forgotten Gialli box sets are all gone, except for Volume 3. But I'm going to tell you what. You got 6,000 of them. They're going to last until the half of Black Friday. So, and most of the Vinegar Syndrome collectors, like probably you watching, you're going to wait for the half of Black Friday. So, because there's no reason to get it now. Unless you really need it now. Oh my God, I really want to see Crazy Designs of a Murderer right freaking now. I mean, you still have to wait till the end of the month. I would wait till May, right? May is the half of Black Friday. So, and get it then. Get it half price. Because this is these are going to be half price on the half of Black Friday. So, I believe even March is going to be as well. I think it's only the last the last three months are not counted. But January, February, March should be in the halfway to Black Friday zone. So I would wait. I would wait. That would be that would be me. However, I'm getting these for the channel, for you. So expect a review of Hitcher in the Dark and The Fear sometime in uh, late February. So somewhere around there, um, I'm going to be uh, reviewing those releases as well as the entire Forgotten Gialli Volume 3 box set. I already did Volume 2 and, and Volume 1. So uh, I, those have been linked throughout the video here. I hope, I hope you, if you saw the card, go ahead and, and click on those reviews if you haven't seen that. Uh, and, and let me know your thoughts on everything. Because I love having conversations with you. It means the world to me. Okay, pal. Time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I am your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos. I love you very much. I really do. I wish you the best. Remember... You matter. You're important. You're worthy. Be grateful for every moment. Every moment of your life. I'm grateful. I'm at 950 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for putting your faith in me. I'm not going to let you down. I'll be here tomorrow. I hope you will be as well. I remain to be continued.